Hello and welcome to The Works on tonight's programme. What makes a good sports book? And have there been any good Irish ones this year? Two new art collectors make their very first purchases. Duke Special with a song for the Christmas. Ah, Christmas. Al Porter with his seasonal cultural tips. First though, the movies. And I'm Danny Green. I play in a wedding band for a living. I had a huge interest in art all through my kind of childhood and my teenage years. I ended up spending pretty much all my time drawing. Right up till I was kind of 19, I started in art college, and just when I was starting to get quite good at it, uh, I took up guitar and stopped pretty much entirely, and kind of music kind of took over my life from there. It was sad because it kind of it feels like kind of lost a huge part of my my own development, you know, with my those because I was like I was a quiet kid, it was like an only child for like the first half of my life, so it was kind of it was a way for me to express myself and kind of, you know, escape into my imagination and stuff as a kid. So I'm going to leave my lovely duplex here in Rohini and head out into town and try and find a piece that speaks to me and maybe speaks about me and uh, just start getting back into art. <laughs> Well, my name is Kirsty Beiklax and I'm an entertainment and social showbiz reporter for the Irish Independent. Dublin City is kind of my beat. I'm always running around uh, to different events and different photo calls around it. Um, it's really, really noisy and very fast paced, but I really like that. I've lived in Manhattan and I lived in London, so I kind of like that hustle and bustle. I always kind of say, um, having grown up in cities, um, ambulance sirens is kind of like whale music to me. It's uh, I find it quite relaxing, um, whereas some people might find it a little kind of, uh, I don't know, intimidating. <laughs> Being a journalist, the only thing I really have in terms of decoration in my apartment at the moment is lots of magazines and books. I have no art on the walls whatsoever. In fact, I don't have anything apart from a mirror and a clock. So I just want to get something to hang up, inject a bit of colour in it and make it feel like it's more like my place and my home. I'm looking for a piece of art, hopefully, that will not only remind me of kind of why it is that I love art, but hopefully something I can put on my wall and when I look at it, I'll kind of get inspired to actually maybe actually pick the pen up once in a while, which is kind of a terrible one for buying sketch pads these days and never using them. <laughs> There's a fantastic art and design scene in Dublin at the moment. Um, you see art moving kind of out of the galleries and being displayed in pubs and cafes and you know, buildings and walls and stuff. There's just more of a chance for artists to get their work out there. Like, so it'd be nice to find something like that. I just wanted to buy something that was Irish because I feel like it's supporting Irish artists. I've been looking around a load of different shops, but I've um, decided that this piece is going to be the piece I'm going to buy. I love it because not only is it by an Irish artist, but um, I love the expression on the fox's face and I wanted to get something that kind of reminded me of the red brickwork of like Georgia Street Arcade and the kind of russet colour of his coat kind of does that and he's also got a really sweet expression on his face. The artist is Siobhan Hyde so uh, she does a lot of screen prints. Actually, going around, I realised that you don't have to spend an absolute fortune to get something that's really nice. Um, and this is only like 120 euro out of the frame, so that means I've also got a bit of money to play around with then, which is great. I've been looking all over town, basically, to find my first piece of art. I found this here at Indigo and Cloth, and I uh, absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of everything that first got me into art when I was a youngster, from kind of you know, Marvel comics of the X-Men, and then uh, up to like Japanese anime, manga, also sort of stuff that you know fell by the wayside as I kind of got more into music and stuff. And I think like that's represented here by the fact that this girl's obviously a musician, or she's got somebody's keyboard. <laughs> I think I hung anything up on any walls <laughs> was uh, a poster of Shane Lynch from Boyzone um, back when I was 13 or 14 years old. So I think it's actually been over a decade, which is kind of depressing <laughs> since um, since I've decorated any, uh, any apartment. 
Yeah, I think I could. The name of it's also gorgeous, my, my sleeping protector. I think that just sounds really lovely. And, uh, and I also love like the smattering of um, stars and moon because just like this massive expanse of sky like stretching on forever and when you're living in like a city and that's so built up it's hard even to get like the corner of the sky so to to get a sense of like just that vast expanse is like really really nice in a in a picture because i don't i don't really have that where i'm living at the moment The reason Dan Danger's piece spoke to me was that uh, just it represents everything I love about about art, which is simple but bold. As soon as I saw this piece, I knew it was the one.